tumours arise from modified smooth muscle cells found in temperature-regulating arteriovenous shunts. They occur in young adults and are usually situated in the dermis or subcutis. They most frequently occur in the skin, particularly in the subungual regions of the hands. They can also occur in the mucosae and viscera. When they occur in the skin, they are characterised by being excruciatingly painful with a lancing pain. This is a typical low power appearance of a glomus tumour. It is well circumscribed and here it is situated in the subcutaneous tissue. Glomus tumours are invariably benign but on occasion may be malignant. Features of malignancy include a size greater than 2 cm, more than 5 mitotic figures per 50 high power fields and nuclear atypia. Nuclear atypia itself is not necessarily a feature of malignancy, in which case the tumour is known as symplastic. Glomus tumours are well circumscribed, usually less than one centimetre in diameter. And there are three main histological patterns. The glomangioma is a glomus tumour with a prominent vascular component, and this is the commonest type, and this accounts for approximately 60% of glomus tumours. Next is the solid glomus tumour, as the name implies. There are solid masses of glomus cells and this accounts for approximately 25% of glomus tumours and the least common variety is the glomangiomyoma. As the name implies, there is a smooth muscle component and this accounts for around 15% of glomus tumours. Histologically, the glomus cells have pale pink cytoplasm, sharply defined cell borders, and round or oval uniform nuclei. Glomus tumour cells show positive staining for smooth muscle actin or SMA and CD34. This glomus tumour is composed of solid sheets of glomus cells, so this is a solid glomus tumour. At higher power the pale pink staining cytoplasm can be appreciated and the nuclei are regular and round. Also the cell borders are well defined. This tumour has a prominent angiomatous component and is a glomangioma. There is a prominent network of dilated ectatic thin-walled blood vessels and between these there are sheets of glomus cells. As in the solid glomus tumour, the glomus cells have pale pink staining cytoplasm, regular round or oval nuclei and distinct cell borders.